Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am back with another video and today I will be telling you some of the stuff in which most of the people have some doubts in that. So after watching this video I will uh, you will have all the clear ideas and uh, misconceptions which you have it will be cleared. So let's get started. What is the main uh, criteria about this widget? I will be making one widget. So that widget will have two options. Uh, one on clicking in one option this uh, uh, widget will be visible and on clicking in another option this search widget will be visible okay so how do you do that and uh, the communication between html server client and the calling part and the displaying in the html will all be uh, handled in one widget so let's get started so uh, the name I'll be giving is uh, option control widget okay and the ID ID is not needed actually so I'll save this now I'll open in uh, it in the editor. So, uh, because I want uh, one uh, select box and there will be two options. So, first I need uh, uh, this layout, okay, the panel which I have already uh, written in my previous uh, video. If you see, so I'll just copy this part till row, okay and I'll paste it in the option table okay so uh, I will over here I'll give select a widget with select widget with options okay search widget okay I'll, I'll do search widget with option that will be better search widget with options okay now uh, so I'll be needing two options okay so how do I get the option so I need to define the option in server script okay so I'll uh, define it here I'll give data dot option options one okay is equals to so inside this array uh, i'll define the option name and id two things and i'll pass it in the html from where i'll get the id as well as the value the name of the options and i can display display it in uh, the widget so first I'll do ID so the first will be my state uh, any name you can give and I'll give name incident state okay so this incident state will be visible on clicking of this option okay now the next one will be don't forget guys over here I need a comma the next uh, option i'll give as search okay and name will be incident search search okay so this was my option part okay now the thing is I need a select box in HTML 
okay so after this row i will write a column i'll take a column okay where i'll give select class select class is equals to uh, i think so i need to write a, a css for for this select box because it is not there and ng model where i need the id okay is equals to data dot value on selecting of this option i need the value okay now i need i will give ng change ng change is actually uh, okay i'll give okay I, first i'll show you and then i'll write ng change so over here i'll give option so uh, there are many cases like over here also you can define and give option uh, like two or more options you can give uh, but i i'm doing dynamically by just mentioning here and pulling it here in html part so that is more appropriate i think so where you can use ng repeat because uh, uh, this array uh, using this array because there are too many options so option in data dot options one okay uh, why i have taken option is like i okay ng repeat is like for loop okay so option in means i in this okay so this part the state part will be my zero means this one is my zero and this my is is one so i in zero and one means first it will run uh, with this state and then with search i hope this is clear to you and if not then you can just uh, go to w3 school and you can get the get it okay now value is what value is option dot id because this is option okay i'm taking the id from each uh, loop from each uh, iteration okay so this is the option now what will be displayed here displayed will be option dot name the name which i have defined okay just save it okay uh, i need to write the css as well so i don't think so that anything will be visible right now because select box hasn't been defined uh, okay we can still we can just see so over here it is coming but uh, okay we can leave like this also if you want you can uh, define you can live uh, like this as well okay so have you noticed one thing guys uh, the one thing is over here in the initial time it is coming blank okay and after selecting if i select any one option then that blank is not visible so to remove this type of thing what we will do we will give ng initialize we will initialize over here with the value okay so this is why ng init uh, in is used this is uh, actually all about angular js so data dot value equals to data dot options at zero dot id and if i just save okay it is not uh, i'll just remove option it will be option i think so
still it is not uh, removed okay so one just a minute sorry okay yeah i it was by uh, my mistake uh, my bad option 1 at 0 because over here i have given it at op options 1 so so now as you have got it like how to remove the blank values from the select box now my point is over here i need to call a client script okay on selecting of this and i'll pass the value in the client script and then i'll uh, show the widgets these two widgets so uh, i'll continue this in my another video i want you guys to try this out in your personal instance okay uh, and wait for my another video so that you'll get the whole widget that's it guys thank you